Hey, welcome back. We have a knife here, one I'm very excited about. And traded for and uh, give up a very nice knife that I have buyback rights on, but uh, oof, it's so nice I don't even want to admit what it is. <laughs> All right, some good packaging from the seller here, always appreciated, and uh, let's get into it. Here we go. I've always wanted to try and get one of these at table, so I traded a very nice knife in order to get this knife in table value in my spreadsheet. Well packaged. One of those things about this thing is that it uh, will be a little loose in there if you don't wrap it up nicely. And oof, there it is. Sweet. So this is the uh, three inch Gareth Bull Knives Shamwari, but this is the newest version from the most recent drop. And it has not a Spiro, but a Gambler pivot on it. And I gotta say, I really like the way that thing looks. Wow. That's freaking cool. The Spiro is great, but oh man, that thing has some serious detent on it. Holy shit. That was, that's crazy. I've had a lot of these three inch. I've never had one that was anything like that. Holy shit. That is spicy. God, these things are brilliant with their, uh, and I'm not even like putting my finger on the lock bar or anything, right? Okay, maybe, maybe even if I touch down here or something, it, God. Man, that is some serious detent. You can really feel that in here. Wow, didn't, didn't expect that. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that is no joke. Look at that, you can really put some pressure. I've never had a three inch with that kind of with that kind of uh, detent on it. Holy smokes. Gareth and Jason were not messing around on that thing. That's not my uh, favorite. If I'm gonna get a lot of detent, I want that on like a thumb stud or a thumb hole or something. I, I can't say I'm a big fan of a, uh, <laughs> of a Shamwari with a uh, really strong detent on a front flipper. I'm not sure if that could be adjusted with a little lock pressure or something along those lines, but wow, that is no joke. Now, they do some very nice things on their knives. Um, let me just see really quickly, because sometimes they have some issues with uh, sort of being able to fold back. This one's good. Uh, they do a really nice hand rub satin M390 blade where you get like a polished flat and then a hand rub satin. They have amazing phosphor bronze wa washers. God, is it me? What's now it seems easier. What am I doing that's causing that to feel so strong when I do it? Am I putting my finger on the lock bar? Gosh, if you even touch that lock bar, it gets really strong. So if you are way off, everything's on the pocket clip here. It's not that bad, but if you even just touch that lock bar, that thing does not want to come out. Wow. So yeah, might be might be something where the lock bar could be adjusted a little bit. It's interesting. It kind of rolls out pretty easily, all things considered. Maybe I'm going, I'm really used to being able to go high up on these. Maybe I need to go down a little bit. Okay. But the great thing about the sham is the front flipper is so easy to do from up here normally. It makes it really nice. If you think about it though, where's the pivot? This leverage point, if you push it, you're kind of going along the pivot. If you go from here, you're really going like circular to the pivot. And so from a leverage perspective, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but it feels a lot easier if I'm down here, which I've seen with a lot of front flippers, but normally not there. So that's the just kind of the weird part here is you can normally like very easily just grab the little tip of the front flipper here, this corner, and get it out. But this one just feels very strong when you're there. It's a little easier if I get myself to go down a little further. So, huh, 
Well, that is very interesting. Clearly strong detent. Um, beautiful, beautiful finish on these as always. Just a knife worthy of a zoom. This armor blasted finish they do is so nice. It's smooth, but not slick. And then you just have this awesome, and I've probably been mucking this up a little bit, so let me wipe it one more time here. Awesome satin finish. They always put a really nice edge on these. And this one is in their uh, Cheka blade shape. It's kind of a spear point, but not quite. Gosh, that's a sweet size. Let's get a quick uh, weigh in here. Not sure if we'd expect anything different from the others. They're usually two and a half ounces on these three inch examples. Yep, 2.75 rather. So no, no change in weight there as you'd expect. They've been making this for a while. Not a ton of innovation coming in here aside from the changing pivots over the years, the bullseye, the Spiro, and now the, uh, the gambler. That one, uh, that one's pretty sweet. I wasn't quite sure what to think based on the photos. Like if you really zoom in and you're not moving it around, it's a little weird looking. But you kind of get this effect from far away. That's pretty special. This like eight spinning around there. Yeah, it's it's even better in person too. It's really cool. So yeah, that's about all for now. Always wanted one of these nice new minty ones. Didn't expect it to have such a strong detent though. I gotta look around and see if other people are. I had read like one post about a strong detent, but I was thinking it was maybe a one-off. But yeah, I guess this batch has strong detents. Confirmed. All right, that's all for now. If you enjoyed the content, please feel free to like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.